What is going on, buddy? Dan on filter checking out between the buried and me. That's a top tier band name. Like top, top tier. Disease, injury, and madness. That sounds like a rough weekend. Let's check this out. This comes from this comes from Jeremy, a Patreon. If you guys have requests, hit me up. What I remember of Between Buried and Me, they're kind of like a metal band that fiddles. Like all their songs, or not all, I've only heard a handful, but the ones I've heard, they kind of fiddle with with, with genres. Like they kind of like tease other genres. Wasn't there, the, there was one that was kind of like swing music almost, but metal? The, uh, the Trespass song. Oh, I can't remember the exact name, but I know Trespass was in it. I'm terrible with song titles. But if you've heard it, you know what I'm talking about. It's like swing metal. Like, that's the best I can describe it. It's pretty fucking crazy. Let's check this out. It's just, it's all over the fucking map, man. I listened to some mathcore for the first time a couple days ago. This isn't mathcore. This, the snare comes, the beats per minute are all normal. But it's got the vibe of it in terms of just kind of sporadic carnage. But at least the timestamps all measure up. But, like, the guitar riff is not your normal fucking guitar riff. At all. Now it's normal. Ugh. I thought the chorus was coming. Didn't it feel like the chorus was coming? Yo. I don't know what the hell's going on. It's an entirely different song. Don't play with me right now, uh, Bit Bam. There we go. I'm tired of saying the whole fucking thing the whole time. Bit Bam, don't fucking play with me, guys. You, if this is in your toolbox, we might have another 
they, their potential goes up. Their ceiling goes up pretty substantially. We're going to intertwine two singers doing soft vocal, but yet... This is unlike any song I've heard from them so far. about 16 to 32 bars it feels like and I'm expecting the heavy the metal portion to return and this just be a segment but I'm so was the intro just or like was the first the metal portion at the beginning was that just an intro and this is the actual sound of the song because this this has gone on a while But it could be wrapping up. Yeah, it's wrapping up. Jesus Christ. Here we go. Kind of crazy when when you have that drastic of a shift in song sound, song style, mid-song. Like, cool. It was a nice jarring, like, transition in and out of it, but why not just do it in, why not just make that two separate songs? This portion and the, the soft portion just make an extra about minute 20 longer and you have yourself a nice little soft song in the middle of your album. Instead, it's like a portion of a song in the middle of this song. It's like Inception. Very strange. Song within song. Nice. 
<laughs> like... Let this ride for a minute. Gone. Gone. Shout out to the cowbell. time the transition wasn't as jarring it almost that almost went really smoothly like right into it it was almost like purple smoke came up right with that last beat and we all just went to this dream world and here we are that bass line Talk to him. jazz influences in the in this last like third of the song heavy jazz influences That's that's how you wrap up a song. Holy shit. Entirely unnecessary too. Like that's like a 15 yard penalty for just excessive violence. The last 
that last like 30 second, 20 second outburst, the song was wrapped up. You could feel it coming. You could feel it. We were we were in the outro stage. You could you, you just feel it. All they had to do is just let it fade slowly and we're done. Now they brought it all the way back and went in for just just for a nice little like finale at the end. Like they saved their best firework for last. That type of shit. <laughs> Didn't last long, but it was a show while it lasted. A good 20, probably 20, 30 seconds of just Showing off, basically, unnecessary. Good stuff, though. Good stuff. And yeah, add this to the list of the handful of between... Between the Buried and me, I, I gotta think of a... Their fans have to have a shorter acronym. And, and Bat Bam just can't be it. It can't, it can't be it. <laughs> but maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. But yeah, add this to the list of songs that I've heard from them that they're toying clearly with other genres, like heavily influenced. Like, again, old school jazz hard in the second half of this song. Like, ridiculously hard. Love that they showcase the bassist. That's rare. Not many bands do that. Not many bands, sadly, give a fuck about their bassist enough Probably not the guy himself, but the, but the instrument enough to give them, like, moments. He got a little solo there, a little moment. Nasty. Absolutely nasty. I wish more did that. I love the way a bass sounds when it's almost all alone. Like, when it gets its moment, basses sound pretty fucking sweet. But all right, bit bam. I gotta figure a better way. But <laughs> disease, injury, and madness. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now, this is, to be fair, this is the remix, remaster. So I guess they remastered their own song for, to get better studio quality. I'm here for it. I'm usually okay with most remasters. Some people bitch, but I don't know what the original sound like, so I'm not sure what changes they made. Hopefully not major ones. Hopefully it's just, like, sound quality ones and not, like, that whole soft portion in the first half. It just wasn't in the original. That would that would just piss me off. But hit like. And again. If it's me. I would just take the. That soft portion they had there. In the first half. It lasted about two and a half minutes. I just would have added another minute. And made that it's own song. And then compress this down by. I guess about two minutes. Why not? You get two songs out of. Out of what you became just one. Both good. But if you are still here, you are. Everyone. Jeremy, appreciate your homie. 